All right, thank you for staying with the Monday Report. The conversation begins right now. You can send in your questions directly to Professor Kivuta Kibwana. is the governor for Makweni County. You can use the hashtag Monday Report. Send a Trevor Bidja at Citizen TV Kenya. We'll pose those questions to him. He has decided to drop out of the race to State House in favor of ODM leader Raila Odinga. We'll find out from him why. He says his people told him so, but is that the whole story? Prof, thank you so much for making time for us. Before we even begin, how are you feeling? We saw just two days ago you sent out a tweet saying you, under, you underwent a minor surgery at the McQueen County Referral Hospital. How are you feeling? Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Trevor, for having me uh, on this Monday report. Uh, yes, I did go through a minor surgical uh, procedure uh, 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 and uh, I'm recovering quite well. Uh, it was in a somewhat inconvenient place. Yeah. That's why I was sleeping on, lying on my, on, on my uh, belly. Yeah. Uh, but I'm doing well. And uh, uh, because of some important things that I had to do, I had to be up uh, about and about. OK. There are many people who are questioning that, unlike your fellow governors, you decided to do this locally in your own county and not abroad. Well, I, I, uh, I, I, I like to go to, you know, our local uh, hospitals uh, because we have very fine personnel and also we are trying to make the equipment also, you know, be good. Uh, this is the second time to get a minor uh, surgical procedure. Uh, one was uh, uh, on uh, some lymphoma or, you know, some... Uh, fatty uh, mass sometimes which one has and uh, so I have you know confidence uh, in uh, my doctors our doctors and uh, uh, some other times of course for other procedures I go elsewhere but uh, uh, many times I have been treated in Makwene uh, because I have faith okay. uh, in our personnel and in the hospitals all right Glad to hear you're doing okay, Governor. And if you need to stand, it's okay. We will allow you to stand. Thank you. I'll make Thank this you. as painless as possible. So let's get straight into the conversation. You you had declared interest in the presidency. Yes. Then now you've dropped out. Yes. Why? Uh, yes, I declared uh, interest in the presidency because after you know working uh, from the 80s and 90s uh, in the pro democracy movement. Uh, up to you know going through uh, being a member of parliament going through being an assistant minister ministers uh, actually there was a time i was a minister for 17 months in two ministries yeah. uh, and being advisor to president kibaki and then my stint as a governor which is almost about 10 years uh, i did uh, personally think that i was mature i was maturing to lead uh, our country yeah and uh, actually, uh, even when I was quite young, in, the, in 1997, mm -hmm. uh, the then opposition asked me to be a compromise uh, presidential uh, candidate. Uh, and uh, I said at that time, I didn't want to get involved in politics, uh, elective politics, yeah. uh, because I was more interested in the constitution. I was pursuing constitutional uh, change. Yeah. So at that time, I declined. Uh, this time around, uh, first of all, it started with uh, uh, some citizens saying, Upende, Usipende, we want to make you a president. Mm -hmm. And some of that was uh, our fidelity to devolution and to Makwene County in terms of implementing uh, the devolved system uh, of uh, government. And, uh, you know, for a long time I was questioning, is this a viable proposition? And a time was reached when I thought, actually, this is something that I could do. And uh, I was working with uh, uh, Willie Mutunga, yeah. some colleagues in the civil society, former civil society, Kongomano uh, uh, Lamageuzi, yeah. uh, working with Mokisa, working with Martha Karua. Uh, also, uh, I was working with the religious sector, yeah. a group called Tena, okay. where several parties uh, uh, came together okay. uh, under the religious uh, under, under, under the religious uh, sector, yeah. and uh, again they asked me, uh, could I be part of that group? 
and uh, of course being uh, a, a person of faith uh, I was in that uh, group but there were many other people as well yeah so uh, fast forward to today why did you yes, change your mind precisely that's where I'm coming to now yeah so uh, this is something that normally when I'm making final decisions final final yeah I co I, I uh, will consult the people of Makweni and of course First, I consulted family. Uh, then uh, we had a meeting actually last uh, Thursday, last week, uh, of about 1,300 leaders uh, from Makwene County. Yeah. And uh, before that, we had also a meeting in, in Machakos, uh, where there were also representatives from the region. Uh, but in the Makwene meeting, which for me was the primary one, uh, in our discussions, uh, it became apparent, and I also sh shared the sentiments expressed in that meeting, uh, that currently uh, there are two uh, uh, groups uh, of uh, 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 supporters of, of presidential candidates, and therefore there is Azimio, yeah. and there is uh, the Asla uh, movement. Okay. Uh, those are foremost, and uh, because uh, my people are very civic aware. Yeah. Uh, they've been following and uh, they even follow polls and so on. And so uh, they thought that they don't want me to stand yeah. and uh, fail uh, because uh, those who are ahead are very much ahead. Okay. And uh, so in all those discussions, uh, they thought I should, we should look for uh, uh, an alliance. Yeah that uh, uh, speaks to what we believe in, okay. speaks to the devolution that we've been prosecuting in Makweni. And so they said, uh, although we had loaned you to Waipa, now we want you to get out of Waipa so that you come back to Mungano yeah. and then go and make uh, uh, an alliance. Yeah. Uh, and they, they were very clear saying that, okay, we yeah. authorize you to make an alliance, but we prefer that you do that with uh, Azimio. Yeah. So and you're saying they told you this is a two-horse race. There's no need for you to try. According to, yes. And of course, also according to my own analysis, uh, a point has been reached where, you know, there are two candidates. I don't like to call them horses, yeah. but uh, there are two, you know, uh, foremost candidates. But what also persuaded uh, uh, them and myself uh, is when it comes to Azimio, the person who is um, the presidential candidate of uh, Azimio uh, as of now, uh, we share uh, the journey of uh, the second liberation yeah. uh, when we were reclaiming uh, freedom uh, from the one party state. Uh, we share the search for the 2010 uh, constitution. Uh, we share from when he taught, because yeah. he taught when I was a student uh, in the University of Nairobi. Uh, so from those days of activism, uh, you know, when he was jailed for quite a, a, a while. Uh, so this was the place which yeah. uh, for me and also for the people of Makweni, because they also follow those uh, happenings yeah. uh, where we were comfortable and particularly yeah. because of um, how uh, Honorable Raila Odinga has stood in support of the constitution and in support of the 2010 constitution and in support of uh, devolution. Okay. Uh, of but course, the constitutional issue yeah. is, is, is an issue to be discussed, uh, but uh, uh, he has that history and, yeah. the, and, and the support for devolution, uh, those who are important to my people as well as to myself. What about the One Kenya Alliance? In fact, you wrote a letter and said Galonzo Musioka's declaration, quote, that he will run for office has put the last nail mm. on the Oka coffin. What Precisely. The reason I, 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 I made that statement uh, was Oka was preparing to meet and declare who would be a flag bearer. And because in 2017, I went through a process of uh, helping uh, NASA uh, in terms of uh, uh, searching for the, fl the flag bearer. And so I was privy to some of what was happening. And in this particular instance as well, 
it will it will appear to me that if Kalonzo Musyoka says he's going to be a presidential candidate up to the very end, and yet Oka has not itself made that announcement, it means that probably is, he has realized that there is a major problem within Oka, and this is why he has to, 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 to in advance say he is a presidential candidate to the end, and uh, that would really mean that the other colleagues in Oka would be uncomfortable, and, and, and it is uh, it, it really means that uh, Oka has a major uh, uh, problem. And uh, I think also Oka was in my, like, almost a similar position as myself because uh, Kalonzo or Mudavadi or whoever else they might put forward, it would not be because it would be a serious candidate who could win. Uh, it might be a situation where uh, perhaps a runoff is, is, is forced. Uh, uh, possibly, I doubt that. Uh, so one must ask, am I running to win or am I running to achieve what other uh, objective? And uh, even in my situation also as a person reflecting, uh, particularly today, uh, before I made the announcement that I did uh, on the basis of what uh, we discussed, yeah. uh, I looked back and I saw Muite standing uh, progressive, very articulate, a lawyer. Yeah. I saw uh, uh, James Orongo. I saw Wangari Madai. I saw Mukangi. I saw, you know, there are very many people who have stood. And of course, the people who tell you that you are reform-minded, we will vote for you. This is what we expect. This is what we want. But normally, uh, when it, 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 it is a, a, a situation of, uh, you know, the voter who is uh, very much at home, uh, the old lady who you know maybe is not exposed to a lot of TV and so on and so forth, and yeah. activists and so on, uh, then you don't get that vote. And uh, you end up uh, uh, being a presidential candidate uh, who really doesn't make a mark. And, and, and I think one has to be completely ready uh, to pitch a serious presidential candidate, candidature, as I believe. Yeah. Uh, Raila is today. So you didn't think you're serious enough to pitch a presidential candidate? I did not. Uh, uh, given uh, the polls that are coming through, given what I'm being told by people also who follow uh, these things, uh, in terms of numbers, I saw that it was going to be an uphill uh, task. But in terms of what it takes, in terms of the agenda, the vision, uh, the ability to work in a county and replicate that, within the whole country. Uh, so why not UDA, which is led by the Deputy President William Ruto, who himself has worked with Raila Odinga before? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 Ruto has worked uh, in uh, 2005 during the, the referendum and, 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 and uh, 2007, James Orengo, uh, 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 people like Akna John Githongo. There are several people who are advising, not necessarily politicians, Akna Kigoro, not politicians as such, who are maybe advising or from the sidelines. Uh, but there are people there that we share. Uh, we share ideology. Uh, we share vision. And uh, uh, you, I, I, I think it's not good to go to a place where you are kind of a stranger. I yeah. uh, haven't worked a lot with Sonko, I haven't worked a lot with uh, uh, Babayao and, 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 and some of the people that the deputy president is working with. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I, I, I am comfortable with every Kenyan in terms of uh, we may not share an ideology, we may not you know, share a vision and all that, some of the leadership. But I'm not going to be one to, you know, abuse people or demean people or do uh, stuff like that. Yeah. But I know where I'm comfortable and I know where I believe uh, that uh, change uh, can, you know, emanate from. Particularly uh, if we are talking about advancing devolution uh, to the next level. You, speaking of not demeaning anyone, you penned a very critical article on Kalonzo and his endorsement. Yes. And he's called it by a section of religious leaders in Yata. What is your main point of departure with Kalonzo? Mm -hmm. Do you have a problem with him? 
Uh, I think the things that I say about, about uh, 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 Stephen are factual. Uh, and and they, 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 uh, they speak to some of what I have uh, noticed when we have worked uh, together. Uh, and so I don't think that I will say things that uh, are not correct just to demean him or to you know, belittle him uh, and, 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 so on and so forth. Uh, for example, uh, and I may not necessarily really want to, to speak a lot about him in this uh, forum, but for example, uh, in 2007, uh, many people asked him, including myself and others, asked him, when you stand, you are not really going to be able to win because this is uh, Raila and Kibaki. And uh, it's better to uh, support one of them. And of course, uh, uh, Kibaki wanted support from him. Raila wanted support from him. Uh, and as a consequence, of course, one has the right to stand. He did. And uh, uh, eventually, there was uh, an issue. Even now, again, I uh, think that the same, that you can't, it's not perhaps a good thing to stand when you know you may not necessarily win, but what you want is to create uh, what we call a wave so that you can have MPs so that tomorrow you can use them to kind of uh, bargain. Uh, but in the meantime, you have told the community that you are winning and the community may feel that that is so. So there are some issues and even the question of development, like after I, uh, again was given permission by the people of Makweni because uh, Stephen came to them in 2016 and asked that I could help NASA. Yeah. I helped him with Raila. And uh, in the first instance, the people of Makweni didn't accept. In the second instance, at a place called Kambu, yeah. that is when they called him and said, we are loaning you this guy, don't mistreat him. And uh, uh, that's how I went to uh, I went to uh, uh, wipe up. Yeah. But but again, uh, when I ask, I you know I used to ask him, come and see what we are doing in Makwen. Come and see the kind of development we are trying to do, so that we can have some input from you and so on. Uh, there wasn't interest in that kind of uh, uh, request, approach, uh, narrative, and so on. So I I think. Uh, there is a, 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 a deficit in terms of really supporting things, development of the region, and that's like one of our departure, you know, points of departure. Yeah. But you could be accused of the same thing, that you are also just claiming that you're running and running and running for the longest time so that you can bargain a position, because now you've already found out that there are two horses, then now you decide to join one of them. Uh, I think one of the one of the, the, the differences is that this is something we have set down, and uh, my community because we do very elaborate public participation from village, and we have about 36, 43 villages, so we do something very elaborate. And uh, uh, even when it comes to who is going to run from MCA uh, to governor in Makwene, we are going to subject those candidates to the same process. So. Uh, this is not a question of, uh, you know, Kibwana yeah. just on his own deciding that this is what I want uh, to do. Uh, and strictly speaking, uh, I will not support Azimio because, or Raila, because I'm expecting that I'm going to be made a minister or I'm going to be made anything. Uh, the, the reason of this support, apart from uh, the matching orders that I've received, uh, from Makweni County is to support the person that I believe or we believe that he's likely to make some fundamental changes in the country as the governor said particularly in terms of uh, devolution yeah. in, you know in terms of uh, you know making sure that law is followed and uh, the, you know the development that we uh, expect so it is a, it is a question of principle yeah. and I, I have not negotiated 
uh, to be made a cabinet secretary so that I, I am saying I'll support you because you'll make me a minister. I've been a minister before. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I know that you can help tremendously. The way in which even as an advisor to Kibaki, there were important things that we were able to, 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 to achieve. And uh, uh, whatever knowledge that I have of running an, the national and county government, yeah. uh, knowledge from my academic uh, pursuits in law, uh, this will be available to, uh, to uh, Raila yeah. uh, for his use. And uh, I don't have to be anything. Yeah. But you're, an, you're a second term governor, so this is in terms of governorship, this is it for you. This, so people are saying that you want to run for the Senate. Is that the plan then? Uh, there was a tweet. I think it started with a tweet yeah. that I wanted to run uh, as a senator. And I don't know whether somebody was trying to smoke me out, uh, particularly after I had said, you know, the, the, the conversation in Makweni, when it was clear uh, that I was being asked to consider uh, other options, not the uh, presidency. So it started as a, a tweet by somebody that we didn't initially know until I looked for the number and I was able to call them and ask, where did you get this information from? And they said, people are saying so, that uh, you know they don't want you to uh, leave uh, Makweni as an orphan so to speak. Yeah. But I, to ask him to pull down the tweet because this is not something that I had said. In that meeting also, uh, one of the leaders also made a, uh, an allusion to that I could be uh, a senator so that I could continue to uh, help the people of uh, Makweni in that particular uh, uh, role. Uh, but I think uh, the, that issue of the senator, there is a political uh, uh, background to it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I come from uh, Kibwezi West, and there is a, a, a candidate. There are actually three candidates from Kibwezi, Kibwezi West and East. Uh, that is uh, uh, Bob Kisula, uh, Patrick Mosimba, and uh, Professor Philip Kaloki. So if I become a senator, that may jeopardize their candidatures for governor. So I think there's somebody who cleverly yeah. from the other part of the county who cleverly also brought this issue to the fore yeah. uh, so that if I become a senator, I would negate uh, these other three candidatures and yeah. then it would be walkover. Okay. Uh, so, so what options do you have, Prof? Are you going home? Uh, as I said, as I said, the people of Makweni are going to look at who will be from MCA up to governor uh, in our usual public participation. Uh, so now when that happens, uh, whatever they say I should do, uh, I would consider, but uh, I really uh, have done 45 years of public service and uh, I am not dying uh, to pursue politics as such, but I don't mind, you know, advising uh, uh, in Azimio. Uh, I don't mind advising, but most critically, uh, I want to put energy uh, to make sure that uh, Raila uh, becomes uh, the fifth uh, president of the republic. And uh, whatever I would be asked to do, be it advice, be it whatever, I would be ready to do it. All right. Prof, I have to take a quick break here. When we come back, we'll come with the feedback as we wind up on this conversation in terms of what next for Prof and also why he decided to make that move. Coming back in just a bit with the only feedback, send them through at Trevor Mbija at Citizen TV Kenya, hashtag Monday Report. See you in just a bit. <laughs>